Hey folks, JD here. And to finish off this week, I thought what I would do uh, is carry on with the video stabilization, same as what we have been doing for, for, for the week, choosing different quadcopter and going into digital stabilization and seeing what we could do with the footage just from a post-production point of view. If you want to check out all the videos and you haven't yet, you'll find them all in the description. Now, what I've done today is I have chosen a quadcopter with immense stabilization. I've decided to go for the Hubson Zeno. Now, you may think there isn't any point in stabilizing this footage, and there probably isn't. We have a gimbal on the Zeno. We have a nice 4K camera. This footage you're going to be looking at today is going to be in 4K. It probably isn't going to be that much different. But I wanted to see exactly what we could do with it. Now, during the, 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 the past week, we've looked at some quite bad footage footage okay footage passable footage and we've actually seen the difference of not having a gimbal and then digitally stabilizing the footage separately with this i want to see exactly what it's like when we take already stabilized footage in the form of a gimbal uh, in the form of gimbal stabilization and add some digital stabilization to the top of that does it make it better how is the video quality how much have we got to zoom in now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be trying varying varying percentages to see exactly what we get back so first of all i'm going to be going down the 10 percent then 22 then 34 and then increasing it until, well, until we don't see the, the horizon. I don't think I'll be going much past 34% in all honesty. So I just want to let you know exactly what we were doing today. That's the plan. Let's have a little look and see, well, is it going to make any difference? Honestly, I don't know. Only one way to find out, and that's to jump straight in. Mm -hmm. 